favorite pastimes of Tennessee and Chumley was exploring the Megapolis Museum, which was right next to the zoo. One day, while going down a corridor, they took a wrong turn and found themselves at the stairway to the attic. Well, now, Chumley, here's some place we haven't been. Uh, yeah, and it's some place I don't want to go, either. Why not? Uh, it looks too spooky for me. That's ridiculous. Now, follow me. I'm not afraid. So long, Tennessee. Come back here. Uh, but it's dark in there. Well, what of it? Who's afraid of the dark? Now, come on. There must be a light switch somewhere here. Oh, here it is. See, Chumley? What did I tell you? Nothing to be afraid of. Yay! <laughs> What's so funny? I was just startled, that's all. <laughs> look out, look out. You're going to knock over that statue. <laughs> Chumley, you clumsy... What is that ridiculous thing on your head? Uh, where, where? Now you've done it. Uh, hey, look, Kennedy, an old piece of paper. Let me see that. Wow, Chumley, listen to this. I, Jack the Joker, captain of a pirate ship, did bury all my treasure on the northern shore of Lake Megapolis. Treasure? treasure? Northern, northern shore? shore? Uh, hey, Tennessee, that's right where the... Right where the zoo is today, Chumley. All that pirate treasure is actually buried somewhere on the zoo grounds. Uh, yeah, but where? Does it say where? It just says Rock N20 W15S42 E6. Just a lot of pirate gibberish. Can't make it out, but no matter what, we'll just start digging. We're bound to find the treasure sooner or later. Come on. All right, Chumley. You start digging here, and I'll start digging over there. But remember, this is all secret. Don't tell anybody what we're looking for. The low key, Tennessee. What you doing, Chumley, huh? What you doing? What you doing? Digging for buried treasure, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just what I'm doing. You see, we found a note in the museum that said there was a pirate treasure buried right here in the zoo, and so there was... Chumley! Huh? I told you to keep it a secret. Now he'll go and yak it up all over the zoo. No, no, I won't, Tennessee. I won't tell anybody about your buried treasure. But of course he did. And soon everybody in the zoo was digging madly for treasure. Jack was digging, Baldy was digging, the Beaver Brothers were digging. And the zoo began to look like a battlefield. Of course, just at that moment... What's going on here? Who's digging these holes? I'll get to the bottom of this. There's only one person who could be behind this. Tennessee Tuxedo! Uh, he went south for the winter. Uh, east, uh, or maybe perhaps it was north. <laughs> Tennessee, come out here. Now, wait, Stanley, I can explain. We're digging for pirate treasure and... Treasure? In the zoo? Of all the harebrained ideas. Now you fill up every single hole and no more digging. But the treasure... Treasure, ha! No more holes. Now get to work. Gee, Tennessee. How are we going to find the buried treasure if we can't dig around for it? I think that's a problem for Mr. Whoopi. Come on, Chumley. We'd better get back to the zoo before Stanley misses us. Uh, gee, Tennessee, how about another riddle? All right, Chumley, go ahead. If a blue stone falls into the Red Sea, what will it become? I don't know. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
and as soon as our two heroes finished filling in all the holes, they took off for the office of Phineas J. Whoopi, the man with all the answers. So you see, Mr. Whoopi, we can't go digging up the entire zoo. We've got to find out exactly where Jack the Joker buried his treasure. Buried treasure, eh? <laughs> where did you dig that idea up? Well, now, I'll have to take a look at the whole problem, get it? The whole... <laughs> yeah. Well, let's just see that piece of paper. Here it is. We can't figure it out. Just a lot of ridiculous numbers and letters. Yes, mm, well, the letters are points of the compass and the numbers refer to steps. This is what it means. Start at the big rock and walk straight north for 15 steps. Turn west and walk 20 steps. Then turn south and walk five steps. Oh, that's easy. Uh, yeah, but how do we know which is the north and which is east and... Uh, Don't be ridiculous, Chumley. Everybody knows where north is. It's right, uh... Um... Uh, hmm. I'm afraid you can't guess, my boy. If you're going to follow Jack the Joker's directions, you will need a compass. A compass? What's that? An instrument that can tell you in what direction you're walking. But we don't have one of those. I'll show you how to make one. All you need is a needle, a magnet, a bowl of water, and a piece of cork. The inside of the pop bottle cap will do nicely. Now stroke the point of the needle along the magnet, and it too will become a magnet. How many times do you have to stroke it? Ten or fifteen times should do it. Now float the piece of cork on the water and carefully balance the needle across the cork. So, see what happens? Look, Kenny, see it turning. Now it's stopped. What direction do you think is pointing? North. North. Right. The Earth is like a huge magnet, and the magnetized point of the needle is attracted to the magnetic North Pole, so no matter which way you turn it, the needle will always point north. Uh, how about east and west? And south. Well, when you're facing north as the needle is pointing, east is always on your right, and west is always on your left. And of course, south is behind you. Now we can follow Jack the Joker's directions and find exactly where the treasure is. Phineas J. Whoopi, you're the greatest. Come on, Chumley. All right, Chumley, here's the rock. This is where we start. You carry the compass, and I'll read the directions. Ready? Loki, Tennessee. All right. Walk 20 steps straight north. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Look out for that rock! Uh -huh. Now look what you've done. You've spilled our compass. But the two treasure hunters soon made another compass and continued their search. This time, Tennessee carried the compass, and Chumley read the directions. Now turn left and walk west 25 steps. One, two, three, four... Uh, Tennessee. Seven, eight... Uh, Tennessee. Ten, uh, uh, eleven... Tennessee. Ow! Chumley! Why didn't you tell me that tree was there? And so it went, until at last... All right, Chumley. Where do I go from here? Uh, nowhere, I guess. That's the end of the directions. Then this is it, Chumley. This is where Jack the Joker buried his treasure. Let's dig. Uh, right in Stanley's front yard? Never mind. We'll have the treasure dug up and out of here in no time. Stanley won't even know what happened. Dig. It's here. Hurry, Chumley. Hey. Uh, open it, open it, open it. There's another chest inside. Tennessee Tuxedo! It's Stanley. Quick, hide this last little box under your hat. Ah, caught in the act. Digging holes and in my front lawn. Ooh, I'm going to lock you two up for a week. Flunky! Flunky! Yeah, boss. Get this pesky penguin and walrus out of my sight. Out, out, out! All right, Chumley, the box, the box. Uh, what box? The box under your hat, you goof. The treasure. Uh, oh, that box? Uh, here it is. What do you suppose is in it, Tennessee? Diamonds, maybe? Or rubies, or emeralds, or pearls? Here, let's put it down and open it. Oh, boy, Chumley, we're going to be rich at last. Ready, Chumley? Here goes. A jack-in-the-box. Look, there's a note. 
ha, ha, ha. Jack the, the Joker. Joker. Oh. Tennessee and Chumley will be right back with more cartoon fun.